Mikey Stadium, West Point, New York, and empty seats for the 44th Army Navy game, Taldori of wartime travel restrictions. 15,000 spectators instead of the pre-war 100,000. I'm Jack Kalooly. I played in the last Army-Navy game that was played at West Point, and I'm now 100 years old. I wore jersey number 74. I was a strong side tackle. I played both ways. It was the highlight of my life. In 1943, the midshipmen were 7-1 and one entering their game against Army to be played under wartime restrictions at West Point. In Navy's win, Jack Galuli made a play he'd never forget, tackling Army's future Heisman winner, Glenn Davis. I won't say I tackled him, we just collided. And down he went. They had the punt, we got the ball, took it down and scored. They were never in the game again. The final is Navy 13, Army nothing. Less than a year later, Galuli was in the Pacific in World War II. In January of 45, he was commanding anti-aircraft gunners aboard the USS Columbia when the ship was hit by three successive kamikaze attacks. I saw there were dying men on the deck. I, I remember seeing one guy, a sailor I knew, he was a radar man. And he was sitting there, he'd been hit by shrapnel, and his chest was open, and I could see his heart. I could see the heart itself beating. You have to control your emotions, and you have to do what you've been trained to do. Now, that's the key to combat. After surviving with burns to his face and hands, Galuli made a decision. I was no longer going to be down here being dive bombed on. I was going to be up there and doing the diving. <laughs> so I put in for flight training. As a Navy pilot in the Korean War, Galuli faced fire from enemy aircraft multiple times. By the 1960s, Galuli was running reconnaissance flights in the Cuban Missile Crisis when he helped discover a Russian sub off the coast of Cuba and his squadron forced it to surface. So we motioned for him to turn back away from the coast of Cuba and to go back toward Europe. And we escorted him out. It was a very close moment in the history of America that this ended the way it did. A career that helped shape history, a life that's lasted a century and even now, Jack Galuli has a message for the first Navy team to play at West Point since he did, 77 years ago. You're gonna remember this the rest of your life. Give all the heart you have to the game. Go Navy, beat Army. Just like a drum. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.